Um, good morning. Welcome to the Stay Connected webinar series brought to you by uh, Site at UK and Ireland and also our partners Trimble. My name's Ian Barnes and I'm the head of the business for Site at UK and Ireland and I'm very much delighted to welcome everybody on board uh, to this webinar. Today we're going to focus the webinar around Trimble Business Centre um, and that's on specifically looking at exporting models from Trimble Business Centre which I'll refer to as TBC um, as we go through things. Um, to equipment uh, and the latest machine control technology in the field. TBC is a cutting edge piece of software package that supports our customers in the field deliver and interpret field to finish survey data and design from packages such as AutoCAD or Civil 3D or Bentley um, which can then be prepared sent out to the field for use in equipment or field survey equipment or conversely back from that equipment and um, back to the office to understand progress real time in the field with Trimble's machine control and this basically gives our customer network um, full project progress visibility uh, and, and much much more. I'm going to be joined today by Dan Hamilton and um, Dan is a well Dan is more than a Trimble professional service consultant he is a true specialist and expert in Trimble business center. He'll be sharing his knowledge uh, about TBC and utilizing the model functions within Earthworks site manager so Earthworks, SiteWorks or similar. And um, after the presentation, we're going to hold a Q&A session uh, for about 30 minutes and um, where we'll cover people's questions. Obviously, we've got an open floor to any questions in the meantime. Please use the Q&A box if you do have anything you'd like to raise and we'll answer them in turn. Now, I'll hand you over to Dan. Dan, please take it away. Thanks, Ian. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, Okay, as Ian was saying, we're going to go through the, the Trimble office to field workflow. So this being TBC out to out to Earthworks and SiteWorks and whatever we need to put it out to. Um, so to start with, we'll, we'll go through the, the different methods, I guess. So there are a few ways, there's always a few ways of doing things, uh, a few ways of getting the data out to the field. So the first one being the good old USB, um, putting the files on a USB stick and traveling out to a machine and uploading it that way. Um, very time consuming and yeah, um, not very efficient, I guess. Uh, still works, but what you can do is you can uh, start to, to transfer your files remotely. So the old way, uh, you may have heard of uh, TCC or Trimble Connected Community. Um, this is, we've had this in place for, for many years now. Uh, so this basically what this did is took out the, the traveling. Uh, we were able to send data from TBC straight to the machine uh, wirelessly re uh, remotely. So if you had a, a modem installed on your machine, you could send the data out and the operator could then load it and start working straight away. We've now moved on to uh, Trimble Works Manager. So this is the, the product that's, that's taking over TCC. So this, the two still run in construct, conjunction with each other, so you can run them side by side, but Works Manager is the method that, that we're, we're using moving forward. Uh, and there is a Works Manager connector in Trimble Business Center version 5.21, uh, which is released now. So if we look at the flow, this is what the, what the office uh, to field flow looks like. Um, so Trimble Business Centre, uh, pushing it to Works Manager and then out to the fields so of SiteWorks, Earthworks uh, and, and Groundworks as, as a future um, project that we'll include there as well. <clears throat> so looking at the overview uh, from Trimble Business Centre, uh, what we can do is basically save it to USB and put it straight on SiteWorks or Earthworks, uh, or we can push it um, using Cloud Data Exchange to Works Manager, and then, then we can download it into our SiteWorks uh, equipment or our Earthworks equipment. And there's also a link between SiteWorks and Earthworks, so you can export from your SiteWorks package onto USB stick and put it on Earthworks. So there's a bit of a, a data cycle going on there. Data can come back from the from the field equipment back to Works Manager, where it can then be downloaded and imported into Trimble Business Center. So there's a few key steps that we need uh, to, to think about when we're 
preparing our data or getting our data ready uh, for for use in the field or to get to get it out to the field. Um, you have your your TVC project and your data in there, so you want to bring in a surface and a line work and, and make sure it's all correct and it's it's how you want it to be built out on out on site. Um, and then you're ready to go. You're ready to push it out to the field. So at that stage, you would configure an external works manager profile. So um, within TBC, we can set up these these external services profiles that that link us. So we can set up a TCC one. We can set up a works manager one, a vision link one, which basically allows us to sign into these um, packages uh, from TBC and links us up, links TBC up with 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 Works Manager or whatever. We then can open up Works Manager from TBC, which takes us into the into the web page. Um, and then what we need to do first of all, and this is a, a one off for each project is create your project in Works Manager. Uh, you can't create your project in TBC, you need to create it in Works Manager online first. And then once you've done that creation of the project, you can pop back into TBC where you can then open up that Works Manager project in TBC uh, and create that link from TBC to, to your Works Manager project. You would then go through and resolve all the project configuration files. So this is essentially saying synchronizing your project, your TBC project with your Works Manager project. And then you can go ahead and create and publish the designs. So I'll run you through that in TBC later on when I do a bit of a demo. Um, and you can sort of see see with your own eyes uh, how that works. So configuring your external profile. So in your support um, tab in TBC, you would go to your options menu, and then you would go to your external profiles, services profiles, uh, and then you would hit the create button uh, there and pick the works manager um, option. And then you would put in your username and password. So this is your basically your Trimble ID. So if you if you remember, or if you you've got a login to Works Manager, this will be an email address and, and your and password that you choose. So um, and this is the information that you need to put into here, which allows us to log into Works Manager from TBC. And then you open up Works Manager from TBC. So there's a Works Manager button within TBC. You just click that, that opens up the web page. Um, and then you can come in here and create uh, your project, basically. And then once you've done that, back in TBC, you click on Works Manager Project. And you'll see on your right hand side, your uh, your pane, your Works Manager project pane will open up. It will give you your information. So what account you're logged into, what project uh, you're looking at. Um, you can pick a project that you want to look at. And then you start to resolve all the information. So a project boundary, uh, you probably drawn one when you created your project in Works Manager. So you can hit resolve on that and then it's going to ask you um, do you do you want to use the works manager boundary or do you want to use the Trimble business center boundary so you pick whichever one you want to use and you hit resolve and that synchronizes the two up then uh, same with SciCal, uh, the units of the project uh, control points and avoidance zones so you resolve those you basically pick whether you want to use a TBC one or whether you want to use a works manager one um, and, and synchronize them up once you've done that, your project's all set up and ready to go. So you've got to got a bucket to then chuck all your uh, designs into and, and push push data back and forth. So you would then go and um, create and, and publish the design. So <clears throat> first of all, you, you hit create uh, works manager design that pops up. You give it a name. And then you go through your, your different options. So you pick a design or a surface. So you pick what surface you want to use for the design. Uh, you pick um, 
the, the model and you pick stakeout points and design map. Um, so your model being your surface, sorry, stakeout points and then your design map being uh, a background map that's going to show up on your data collector or your, or your earthwork system out in the field. So once you pick those, you add them uh, to your design and then you simply hit publish and that's going to push uh, your design out to uh, works manager um, where you'll see it in your design tab in works manager and you'll notice the little symbol here is uh, a bunch of devices. So this means so if anyone's used works manager before you have notice if you've created a design within um, works manager you have to choose whether it's going to be uh, a data collector or whether it's going to be machine control. Machine control symbol will have a shovel. Uh, data collector symbol will have a plumb bob. And basically, data collector ones work on data collectors. Machine control ones work on machine control or Earthworks and GCS 900. Uh, so these designs here will work on either machine control or, or uh, data collectors. So people who have used Trimble systems in the past will know that you know, you, you've had to create different files for SCS 900 and then different ones for GCS 900 and then different ones for Earthworks. This, doing it this way, you better just create one design that can be used across the, across the board. And if you don't have any connection, um, you can then basically just use the works manager field data to USB drive. So you can just publish it to a USB drive uh, and then go and upload it to your machine using USB. If you have any issues uh, with connectivity as well, you can also just create the designs and just close them up and then use the publish designs to works manager, um, publish designs to works manager uh, option there and you can then publish your designs later on when you have connectivity. So if you're out on site, for instance, and you don't have any connectivity, you can create the designs. When you're back in the office, you can hit publish designs and that will push them then. So in TBC, um, when, when, you're creating the, when you're creating the works manager files, they all sit uh, in your Trimble Synchronizer data folder and your Works Manager folder. Um, so on your C drive, Trimble Synchronizer data folder, this is by default, by the way, you can change the locations. Uh, Works Manager and then machine, or your, your design name or your project name. And this is where all your designs sit. So um, you'll see all the design, all the information that I've sent out to to Works Manager, and you come in here, and here's your designs. So they get pushed as a as a VCL uh, out to out to Works Manager. And then out on the out on the machine, um, the operator would simply need to uh, just change his project. So he would get um, notified by someone in the office. So you can call him or message him or something like that. Uh, designs changed and he can go and pick the design. If he's currently working on design uh, with the same name, so you may have, you know, building pad version one and that gets updated in the office to building pad version two. If, if that gets pushed to works manager, um, the, the operator in the field who is using building pad version one would get a notification to say this design has been updated and it would take him out of the operation screen and he would have to go back into the operation screen using version two then. So he gets notified if he's using that design, which is uh, quite handy. Basically, if you publish a design that you, if you know he's working on version one, you publish version two, you know he's gonna get a notification if he's using Trimble Earthworks um, and he would need to change them to version two. And then in Works Manager, you would, you'd be able to log in and then see which design that the operator is running then as well. So you get that feedback to make sure he's running the correct design. So are there any, uh, 
Are there any questions? I see Neil's answered, asked the question. I'll, I'll answer that, that later, Neil. Um, are there any other questions on that before I jump into a, into a demonstration of uh, TBC? I think everyone's on mute. Just if you have any questions, type it into the chat or the Q&A. find TBC. So no questions yet. So I'll jump into TBC here. Um, essentially what I've got is a is a design is a project and I have multiple designs in the project. So what I want to do is basically get a design out. So I say I want to get this this design here out to the field. Um, SV road finish. Uh, what I can do is come to corridor, uh, sorry, construction data. And then here, uh, works manager. So works manager will launch works, works manager and I can go in and create a project if I had, haven't already created one. I have created a project in works manager. So I'm just gonna go to works manager project Now, before I do that, I should actually go to the support menu first and options and just show you the external services profile. So I need to first, I need to do this. I need to do this once basically. Come in here and I need to create a works manager profile. So come in here, I've created it, put in my Trimble ID, and I've signed in um, and then I can hit okay. So I've signed into Works Manager now. And now I go to Works Manager Project. This opens this up. Um, I've got one open, a project open already. Uh, if, I, if I didn't have a project open already, it would ask me, it would prompt me to select a project. Uh, and then I, I have to go through and resolve each one of these things. So project boundary has already been resolved. Site calibration, so I've got a site calendar here um, and I've got one in Works Manager or I may not even have one in Works Manager. Um, where is that? I've got multiple screens open and things are popping up all over the place. Um, so I'd hit resolve on that. Sorry, my... Um, my internet is not the strongest working from home, so it's taking a while. Okay. Seems my computer can't handle running a video call and several other programs at the same time. So anyway, I would hit resolve on that. Um, a box will pop up to ask me whether I want to adopt from Works Manager or publish to Works Manager. So what I want to do in this situation, I want to keep my calibration that I'm using in TBC. I would then publish to Works Manager, which would publish a DC file. Um, off to Works Manager, if I'm using a geoid or something like that, it would publish the geoid as well. Uh, and I'll do the same for my units, um, my control points and, and avoided zones if I had any. So it's basically just choosing then what you wanna do. And then you would hit, hit close on that. Sorry, I think I have a window somewhere where
Guys, if you just bear with us, there appears to be an audio issue. Dan, we can't hear you. Um, you may need to just unmute yourself or okay. check you, out your can system you hear me? working. Can you hear me now? There you go. That okay. proves it's a real life um, webinar with all included technical glitches as well. <laughs> I'm having some uh, issues with my Trimble Business Center. No, it's not Business Center, it's my PC, to be honest. It is not built for uh, for running several things at the same time. Uh, <clears throat> are there any questions on on that? While I restart restart Business Center, yeah. I think it's still all muted. So. Uh, So how do we allow people, all of them, to talk at the same time? No. If you have any questions, just uh, chuck it in the QA or the chat, and we'll uh, we'll answer it. I'm just getting business in and load back up again. Five point two one was released uh, a couple of weeks ago. Now, uh, the start of April. So, if you haven't already, it'd be good to update, and then you have that Works Manager link. Okay. So in here, so we've been through, we've done the project and then I would need to create a works manager design. So give the design a name. Uh, okay. And so what I need to do now is uh, basically, so I've got a design name here. I haven't got a version because I haven't actually created a design yet. So change my model uh, and I get to pick now whether I want uh, a surface or a corridor surface or an alignment or, so this really depends on what type of work I'm doing. So for this road here, for example, I'd do a, a road surface and then I can pick uh, which alignment I want. So uh, this is the alignment here for this this project, this one here. So I can click on it and it's going to tick the box. Uh, and then hit, I basically need to pick my surface as well, which is SV Road. So I've picked this corridor surface here now and I'll pick the alignment and then hit OK. And then I could pick setting out points if I wanted to. So if I wanted to send out a CSV file of, of setting out points, I could add these set out points. And if I wanted a design map, I would then pick you know what I wanted to see on the on the design map. Uh, so I just deselect the, the surface. So I've basically got a, a line here that I'm going to send out. Uh, and a few other things. So I hit add, and hit OK. So now I have a, a, a model or a, a surface. I have uh, setting out points and I have design and I have a map that I'm going to see on the machine. And then I'd simply hit publish. Um, and that's going to publish it to, to Works Manager. So design was successfully published, hit OK, and then you could log into Works Manager and check that. I'm going to try. Oh, man, that's another glitch. Okay. 
So I can't log into Works Manager. I'm having some bandwidth issues today, I think. Um, so that basically you could then, that would be selectable in Works Manager where I could then, it would be available for, for every device that's within my project uh, in Works Manager. So essentially, uh, if I had a, a machine working on a project, um, I could add that, that machine or that device to my project in Works Manager. When I publish the design from TVC, that machine then on, on site would have access to the, to the design I've just published and it would be selectable to them when they go to their design menu in Earthworks or the same thing with SiteWorks. And that, uh, I guess that concludes the demo. That's essentially the workflow. Um, data into TBC, data preparation, uh, create the project, the works manager project, uh, and then publish designs to that project. Um, add your design, add your devices, your uh, Earthworks, SiteWorks to that project, and then they are available, they're able to then download the designs that you've created in TBC. And then data can come back the other way as well. So I'm going to open that up now to any questions. Um, if you have any questions about TBC, Earthworks, or anything like that, data transfer, then uh, either type it in the chat, quick Q&A, or I'm going to have a go at unmuting everyone. Where would you go if someone's using Works Manager and they're having difficulties? What would be the normal, where would you refer a customer to? Uh, so, I mean, SciTech, SciTech is the, the first port of call if anyone's having uh, technical difficulties with any of, any of the, the, the SciTech portfolio products. Um, and then SciTech have access to, to Triple Support uh, and I'm, I'm in country, I'm in the UK, uh, ready to support you guys as well so oh, so just normal technical yep, yep. yeah that's fine yep. so between works manager and tcc there are still a few things uh, gaps i guess uh, if you go on the works manager page um there is a blog post about it um they're, they're working on getting those gaps closed so until those gaps are closed if you have works manager if you have a works manager license you, you have access to TCC as well, so you can run them both at the same time. Um, but there's, Works Manager pretty much does everything, will do everything you need. Uh, essentially, there are a few special, specialty things that, that we're still uh, moving over to Works Manager. Okay. So I think if anybody's got any questions, please, please feel free to ask them whilst I, I close this out. But I'd like to end by thanking everybody for attending and, you know, participating. These sessions are, are all about our customers and um, it's something we will be continuing um, to do. Um, we are holding a session next Wednesday. That's Wednesday, the 29th of April, and that will cover um, one of the latest product editions for sites at UK and Ireland um, portfolio, and that's drone services um, and Trimble Stratus and looking at how, you can maximize um, efficiency and data collection from sites by the use of drones and software. So if you want to, uh, we've just had another question as we close. Um, how much does the license cost? So yeah, it's, I mean, I, I won't go into cost, but it's basically split into packages. So depending on the amount of machines that you have in your fleet, you would uh, um, pick, pick the, the package that you need and then Obviously, your cost is going to apply to that. So, once again, thanks for joining us. It's been great to be here. Thank you, Dan, for um, hosting the webinar, and look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you. Can you show a quick presentation for a shared license? It's a question that's just come in from um, Denise. You elaborate on the shared license piece i'm not sure what you mean by by shared license assume that's a network license for tbc can you can you hear me yes yeah. yes we can hear you uh, uh good morning uh, my name is dion dion it's uh, 
easier to pronounce. Yes, indeed, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, my question was about uh, the license we are using uh, uh, within our office. Mm -hmm. That is a license, it's a shared license. I don't know how that is being set up uh, in our office, but we can go on a server and just grab that license to use on a different laptop, for example. So this is a uh, TDC, this sounds like. So yeah, yeah if, um, so that, that will be a network license, as, as Pete said. So essentially what you have is a, a license that's sitting on your server um, somewhere. Uh, it has a number of seats attached to it. Um, yeah. And then as long as you're on the same network as that license, you can then go on, log in and you can take a license. Uh, oh, so it. It, it's better to ask in the office actually the path for using well, it. Yeah, I mean, if you have, all you need to do is have TBC installed on your on your laptop or your PC. 5.1, yes. Yeah. So if you have TBC installed and you're on the same network as the as the um, the license is, then you could log in uh, and you would search for a uh, a network license, and then your license sh server should pop up here. All right. And you got to see what licenses you have on that server, and then what you could do is grab a license. So you can, if you want to use it on the network as it is, you could just go on and use it, and it would basically block it out when you're using it. And then when you stop using it, it would then put it back on the server. But if you yeah. want to take it away off the network, if you want to take it offline somewhere, you can check that license out. So you can take it off the server, attach it to your PC, and then go and do some work elsewhere. And then what that is is a time license. So you give it an amount of time, and then when that time's out, it just gets put back in the server. All right, I got you. So when I, if I log out or if I uh, close the laptop, is the license going to go back into the server so somebody else can use if, it? If you but, haven't checked the license out, then yes, it will go back on to the server. If you have checked it out, then it will it will stay on your PC or assigned to you as long as you have told it to. Ah yeah, yeah. That's that's handy. Yeah. Great uh, well, I'm just learning on this uh, on this uh, software. I'm using it, but I'm on uh, on the field engineer. Like uh, I'm working remotely most of the time. Okay. And uh, I don't have uh, access to this license all the time. It would be handy, really. To to check it out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. No Thank you, Dion. That's a great question.